Yo, what's cracking, everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here, and we are back on Forza Horizon 4 with another episode of Hidden Secrets, Easter Eggs, Glitches, and Funny Moments that you, the subscribers, have found in the game. This is a series where you send me interesting things you have found in the game and the ones which are the most unique and haven't yet been showcased on my channel will possibly get a chance of being featured in a future episode. To send me the things you have found, make sure to either write them down in the comment section down below or direct messaging them to me through Instagram, Twitter or Xbox, either by describing them or recording it in video form. Please just make sure that it is in the best quality possible so it can be used in an episode. All of the links will be down in the description below and hopefully I'll see some of you guys in the next video. So let's take a look at seven secrets, Easter eggs, glitches and funny moments that you have found in Forza Horizon 4. Starting off with number one, tail lights used to bust. So in recent episodes, we have been talking about the car damage models in Horizon 4 and how reserved they are compared to the original Forza Horizon title back on the Xbox 360. Visual damages like tail lights, headlights being shattered, windows going completely bust, and even bumpers falling off were all damage features that could be seen across all the vehicles in Horizon 1, while in Horizon 4, the car damage models were very inconsistent. A large majority of the cars have very generic damage with some body crumples and windows cracking, but only a few cars that we have found throughout the series had actual damages. However, one thing I found was that in previous Forza titles, even the ones which were released on the Xbox One, certain cars, for example this Mitsubishi Evo 6, had rear lights that can go bust. A fairly realistic damage model, but then four years later, the exact same car had a more reserved damage model despite being the newer game. I always thought that these car models were transported from one game to another with further improvements upon every title, but honestly, looking at it now, I'm not exactly sure. But what do you guys think? Number two, two sport cages. Now, if there's one place we wouldn't imagine Horizon 4 having bugs, is the custom upgrades. No, I'm not talking about this bug here where the game is showing the inverse of the roll cages which is being chosen, or the roll cage actually puncturing through the car seats. But what I am talking about is the actual upgrade options itself. For some reason, if you are in the Vauxhall VX220 Turbo, the game grants you an extra option that is completely redundant. That's right, there are two sport chassis upgrades that can be done to this car, with each doing the exact same thing. How many more bugs are there through the custom upgrades? Anyways, a huge shout out to It's Supra7804 from Xbox for sharing this with all of us. Thank you. Number three, a funny moment. As most of you know by now, in each episode, we will feature a couple of funny moments in order for more of you, the subscribers watching, to get involved. Just make sure to send in your clips saying funny moment and I'll be sure to check it out. All right, so you're in the Velociraptor and you've just missed the jump completely and the car's bouncing up and down. Oh my God, <laughs> that's unexpected. Is that part of the map? Or is that outside of the map? I'm actually not sure. Can one of you guys answer that for me, please? Anyways, a huge shout out to Magic Monkey 125 from Xbox for sharing this with all of us. Thank you. Number four, no decal banner. This, I don't believe is a bug or a glitch. However, some of you subscribers have been sending me this saying that perhaps something might be wrong. So what players are questioning is that when you choose the Hennessy Velociraptor, the manufacturer paint options has the Hennessy banner on the front windshield. However, if you choose a custom color, the Hennessy banner on the front windshield would then disappear. Again, this may not be a bug as Hennessy probably only want to see their banner in unison with their original color options that are available in real life which certainly does make sense. However, what is noteworthy is that when you do choose a custom color, although the banner can no longer be seen from the exterior, within cockpit view, the banner is still there. So what could it be? Is the interior view bugged or is the custom color banner removal a bug? 
Either way, one option certainly doesn't seem right. And a huge shout out to FunSpencer410 from Xbox for sharing this with all of us. Thank you. Number five, where's the cover? So many cars in Horizon 4, you can actually go into Fort's Vista mode and check out their engine bay. This can only be done with vehicles that have been remodeled specifically for Xbox One Forza titles. So when you look at an engine bay, everything should be covered, especially if it's a car that's been rolled out of factory and is completely stock. This is so that all the vehicles can meet mandatory requirements so that their manufactured car can be sold and registered for public road use. However, going back to the Hennessy Velociraptor, if you pop open the bonnet and look inside the engine bay, you will notice something a little strange. Yep, that's right, take a look at the fuse box over on the top left corner. All of the fuses are exposed. This is a huge no-no as, well, you'd be screwed if you were driving this in the rain with no cover on the fuse box. While I can appreciate the effort of spending more time modeling these small fuses, it makes more sense to just model the plastic cover on top and spend that time elsewhere where it matters. Very intriguing and a huge shout out to CPC Baseball from Xbox for sharing this with all of us. Thank you. Number six, an epic moment. All right, so I've actually seen some decent funny moments in my DMs, which also have potential to be epic moments too. And as much as I like seeing things that are funny in Horizon 4, seeing clips that involve skill is something I truly admire. And I know so many of you out there are epic drivers, and I would honestly just love to showcase them to everyone watching. But for our first epic moment, I'm submitting one to kind of set the standard. It's me competing in an online drift event. And as I enter this sharp right, I do a reverse entry retreat. Yes, that's what I'm calling it. Right before transitioning into a traditional drift. And then without actually hitting the wall, surprisingly. I know, I know, it's pretty trash. And I look forward to seeing all your epic clips. And hopefully, they'll be featured in a future episode. And lastly, number seven, Null Car finally unlocked and playable. So on my channel throughout the years, we have been very intrigued about the Null Car and how to actually drive and own one in Horizon 4. Now let's settle this once and for all first. The Null Car is not, and I repeat, not a Ford Mondeo, and it isn't a Ford Fusion. The car is an Australian made Ford Falcon FGX. If there's anything that you can share in any of my videos to all of your friends who play Horizon 4 and don't live in Australia, tell them this, that the Null Car is a Ford Falcon. Alright, now that I've gotten that out of the way, here is a full tutorial on how you can unlock the Null Car and actually play and modify it too. Just a disclaimer, there is a chance you may get banned for this, so try this at your own risk or offline, but... It's a glitch within the game, and honestly, it's not harmful to anyone, so hopefully Playground Games won't be banning anybody for this, and I just let it be. I mean, it's a car we want. So anyways, I'll put the instructions that the subscribers sent to me on the screen, and there will also be a video showing how you can obtain the Null Car too. So the first thing you want to do is head out of the festival and enter the pause menu. Next is to go to the creator hub and choose livery design. Then type in his gamer tag, air shxp, and then choose working null car. And then the game will prompt you to fast travel back to the festival site. And then after that, it will ask you to purchase the null car for 50,000 credits. Some pretty exciting stuff as you can see in this clip here, there's the full working version of the Forza Vista, unlike the previous episode where it was just a barn find bug where we were only able to just walk around it, but this time you can actually go inside the car and see what the Null car actually looks like. This person also decided to show us some customization of what the Null car can actually achieve. 
And I gotta be honest, I, I think I'm gonna try this for myself and maybe perhaps I'll make a video on it as well. Uh, if you guys would like to see a video on it, make sure to let me know down in the comment section below. And honestly, I, I just think it's really cool. You can see what engine swaps are available for this car as well. And I really do want to experience this car because I have yet to drive this null car in Forza Horizon 4. And I've seen so many people on YouTube, on my Xbox messages, on my Instagram that... It just seems like everyone's driven this car but me. So I think I will be trying this car very shortly. Anyways, a huge shout out to Jags.airship from Instagram for sharing this with all of us. Thank you. So there we have it guys, seven hidden secrets, easter eggs, glitches and funny moments that you the subscribers have sent in for Forza Horizon 4. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button, that would really help me out. And remember, if you guys have any clips that you want to send to me, all of the links will be down in the description below. Any social media will do and I look forward to all of your submissions. Anyways, if you guys would like to see more Forza Horizon 4 content right here on this channel, make sure to click the subscribe subscribe button with notifications turned on that way you won't ever miss out on another video that goes live and i hope to see you guys in the next video peace